President Bola Tsunubu swears and Federal Civil Service Commission Chairman members. Academic Staff Union of Polytechnic commends federal government for granting polytechnics degree status. Key players and security sector advocates legislation on women inclusion in peace, security, and conflict management. Good evening and welcome to NTA Jebo Day News at 7. My name is Temidayo Famoyegu. The newly appointed chairman and members of the Federal Civil Service Commission have been sworn in. President Bola Tinubu performed the ceremony before commencement of the Federal Executive Council meeting slated for this Wednesday. State House correspondent Musbao Dan uh, reports. Civil Service Commission, FCSC, appointed late October, have passed the test and have been duly confirmed by the Senate. Tuji Olaupa from Oyo State, a retired Federal Permanent Secretary and Professor of Public Administration who will serve as the Chairman of the FCSC and the other 11 members of the Commission took oath of office before President Bola Tinubu. <laughs> The president, in an earlier statement by his advisor on medium publicity, Ajuri Ingilali, charged the new FCSC leadership to competently facilitate the transformation, reorientation, and digitization of a federal bureaucracy to enable growth and enhanced private sector participation in the development of a Nigerian economy in full adherence to the renewed hope agenda of his administration. We need to beef up the capability readiness. We need to modernize by deploying technology. We need to reinstitute professionalism and competency-based human resource management. We need to move the civil service to a position where it could help government to deliver on its agenda. President Tinubu also swore in Musa Adamu Aliyu, new chairman for the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC. Aliyu, who holds doctorate degree in law, was appointed the Attorney General of Jigawa State in 2019 and was named a Senior Advocate of Nigeria, designate in October 2023. The president had implored the new management team of the ICPC to always be above board as they discharge their duties without fear or favor concerning all matters before them. I have taken a lot of office, on the arrival of a lot of office, and I will discharge my duties in accordance with the ICPC Act to support the Renew, Renew Hope agenda of Mr. President. I want to assure Nigerians and Mr. President that I will lead by example. And I will also uh, leave above board, and I will abide by my of office. The tenure of office for the chairman is five years in the first instance. From the State House, Muspal, Ben Wahab, NC News. Trade Union Congress of Nigeria wants government at all levels to not just implement the wage award of 35,000 naira agreed with the organized labor, but be consistent and timely about it. The Workers' Union lamented the halt in payment of the money, saying many Nigerians are struggling to cope with the hardship occasioned by long-term economy reforms. Joseph Otsi reports that this was during the National Executive Council meeting of the Congress in Abuja. The monthly payment of 35,000 Naira wage award was one of the agreements reached between representatives of the federal government and the organized labor to address hardship confronting citizens due to removal of petrol subsidy. But the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria says it has evidence that federal government workers received only one month of the pay meant for September and that only few others were paid for the second time since commencement three months ago. We wish to call on government to fast track all the processes. We learned that they are currently 
putting some things in place to pay this money, but people are not ready to listen to excuses. All we want is that this money should keep hitting the account of our members until the new minimum wage is put in place. Another national issue the union raised concerned on was the country's debt profile, which has been on the increase. The budget that was just submitted uh, by Mr. President to the National Assembly is also a deficit budget. The amount of money we require to service debt is not catching up with our national revenue, and this is problematic. Meanwhile, TUC has announced admission of five new affiliates. They are Law Officers Association of Nigeria, Congress of University Academics, National Association of Medical and Dental Academics, National Butchers Employers Union of Nigeria, and the Association of Telecommunications Information Technology, Cable and Satellite Network Operators, and Allied Services Employers of Nigeria. In Abuja, Joseph Otsen, NTA News. The Academic Staff Union of Polytechnic ASUP has welcomed the idea of the federal government for polytechnics and also urges for the granting of degree awarding status for polytechnics. Form part of resolutions at the end of the 17th National Delegates Conference of the Union. Presidents of the Academic Staff Union of Polytechnics, Sanderson Izebe, presented the concern and pointed out that the Nigeria Polytechnic remains the only arm of the tertiary education in the country operating without a dedicated commission leading to inadequate regulation. As supposed, of course, for immediate reconstitution of all dissolved governing councils of polytechnics. The of the government to include the establishment of a national commission for polytechnics in the roadmap for the education sector for 2024 to 2027 in the hope that such shall see the light of the day and put into a definite end this issue of HND degree dichotomy. It is also contained in that document and uh, we believe that this will mark an upturn in the fortunes of polytechnics in the country currently facing an existential threat due to dwindling students enrollments and qualified manpower flights away from the system. Um, of course you know that our sector is threatened. I can, I can tell you that some federal polytechnics, including, you know, including federal polytechnics that are more than 10 years old, they have less than 1,000 students. Other resolutions are the removal of unqualified rectors, review of 25 billion naira needs assessment intervention for polytechnics, and payments of owed promotion arrears dating back to 2017, among other. We'll be back shortly after the break. The process of standardizing private security outfits in Nigeria is ongoing to complement conventional security to enable them conform with current realities to address some of the challenges in during their operations. These were views of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps and stakeholders while speaking on how to standardize private security outfits on Monday morning, Nigeria. Ibrahim Belo Gunda reports. Of private security outfits in Nigeria in complementing conventional security units is now imperative, making it necessary for standard to enable them play their role as expected. Guests on Good Morning Nigeria were unanimous on the need for reforms and training to meet contemporary challenges of providing security to the public. 
on proliferation of unregistered private security outfits and the need to provide light arms to private guard, the regulator, Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Co. Players and stakeholders see measures like supervision, monitoring, training, as well as legislation need to be part of the ongoing reforms in the sector. The reforms that is coming, we intend to departmentalize these licenses so that those that guard NTA will have a special kind of training. Those that okay. are into marine we have a special kind of training. Those that are into aviation guarding, we have a special kind of training. It's no longer just one license, you do everything. Okay. It's need to revisit that act, and there is need for the um, uh, uh, the legislators to come into, into it, uh, so that um, the uh, Nigeria Civil Defense Corps uh, and other security, um, formal security system need to checkmate who is carrying arms and on which uh, legal background uh, on which legal backing is he or she carrying those arms? They highlighted the challenge of poor or inconsistent payment of wages of private guard, which affect service delivery, while calling for legislation to set the benchmark for payment of their entitlement. At setting up uh, the private guard company has a lot of restrictions, which has also impeded our service delivery. Any security agencies that the government will put in place should be able to take dressing from the Nigerian police. People have to be screened before you put them in, the, in what I may call the private security company. Because if you don't screen them and you bring in a criminal, mm. he's going to do havoc. They unanimously agreed on the need for the review of existing laws, quality training, recruitment of guards with good record, constant monitoring by Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, supervision, by management of the companies, among others, for effective standardization. In Abuja, Ibrahim Bellogunda, NTA News. The House of Representatives Committee on Drug and Narcotic is assuring the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, of its readiness to provide better legislation that will support the agency to actualize its mission of sanitizing the country against illicit drugs. This came to the fore during an interface between the leadership of the agency and committee member. National Assembly correspondent Joshua Ogunjide has more. Visiting the 10th Green Chambers Committee on Drugs and Narcotics to give summary of its activities in the past 35 months. Having gone through the job done so far, the committee raised concerns as the 2021 World Book Report predicted 40% increase in the prevalent use of drugs, especially opioids and synthetic drugs by 2030. We have 774 local government that we need to extend. A lot of people don't even know the purpose of ADLA in this country today. You'll be surprised. Uh, we need more people to work. Why is it that the junior cadre are less than the senior cadre? Secondly, uh, there is these pictures going about in the social media and I saw it, uh, some of your recruits are on the edge. You have a plan to employ in 2024. What is the criteria of this? Because Nigerians have been bombarding us, mostly especially the youths. In spite of bottlenecks, the NTLA said its core mandate is to enforce law and prosecutorial power in reducing drug demand in Nigeria. We are largely relying on the, this honorable committee to drive the process of the recruitment process, which we hope it should be much sooner than later. The structure of the WADA starts with the interministerial committee, which is at the national level. There we have about 35 MDAs that are drug, that have that are their activities are related to drugs. We look forward to your assistance in taking care of some knots that can only be solved by this legislative. Committee. The committee chairman announced plan to hold a retreat for stakeholders, after which oversight will begin by members. From the National Assembly, Joshua Kochti, continue. Now, judicial officers in the Federal High Court of Nigeria have been advised to discharge their duties with professionalism, honesty and integrity in a manner that once the court delivers its judgment to the difficult for appellate courts to upturn it. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Kayode, has advised at the opening of the Judges Annual Conference, one of the programs lined up to mark the 58th anniversary of the court. Aliu Tuko reports.
Here ends the news tonight. Good night.